Hey, welcome to the homestead here, coiling the fruits and berries, Tennessee and homestead. I'm hiking up to the back of the property <laughs> here. I just wanted to show you guys something and uh, take a look at this. We have all the black Angus cows that come up to the back fence, our back fence. Look at that. Champ just that's Champ, the Australian Shepherd. He loves to intimidate the cows. Good sport and good exercise for him. So this is what they do. Today has got around 80 degrees out here. We're expecting thunderstorms uh, tonight and into tomorrow. So I've been busy with the garden beds and I'll show you those. I've pretty much now have them prepared for the planting. Uh, in the next week or two when I do that with all the veggies that I've grown from seed. They're having a conversation over here, some type of a group meeting. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about, but they love to chatter with each other. And so anyway, so that's not our property. That's 120 acres right next to us. And it's sort of nice because it's wide and open, and even though we're in a subdivision, it makes you feel like you're, you're you are where you're at, and we are at where we are. <laughs> and way off over there, yeah, the mountains, those are the Smokies, uh, or the Appalachians. Uh, they're like 15, 20 minutes commute from our house here. I'm trying to pinch to zoom. Oh, there we go. So, it's been quite a day today for me here on the homestead. I've just been doing a lot of work. Uh, just, these are our blackberries, and they're about ready to explode with blossoms. And I'm trying to clean up the area below them. And then I'm going to be putting that breathable black matting surface uh, Lowe's sells them. Lowe's is, is the closest store to us here. We're out in the in the county, but uh, Lowe's is probably about 10 or 15 minutes commute from here. And I'm going to lay that down on both sides so it will prohibit once and for all for the weeds to grow up. And uh, and then we have raspberries. These are Those were blackberry bushes there, and these are raspberries, and they're finally greening up and they're they're slower than the blackberry bushes but they're they're starting to get big and I'm very happy about that and here we have some struggling but healthy they're 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 hanging in there uh, I didn't really fertilize or anything I suppose I probably can now do that uh, I just figured if you're going to survive you're going to survive out here in the country uh, and I don't want to have to babysit you <laughs> So hopefully they uh, will continue to get green and grow and do their thing. And then right over here, uh, our, that's the male elderberry plant right there. It's a husband and wife scenario. <laughs> but the wife is pregnant. <laughs> she has got blooms. And I can show you right there. They're small. I mean, she's small. She was much smaller than this last year when I planted her. Um, in order for them to fruit, I guess, you got to have him near her. That's what I was told by the nursery. I'd rather just get some elderberry plants that are self-pollinating, and I wouldn't have to worry about that. Uh, I'm going to still check into that. I'd like to get a little bit more than one producing only, because we're really into elderberries, and, and just their health benefits is unbelievable. And then, of course, here is the Granny Smith apple. The, this is the, uh, the green apples. You make pies and apple juice and everything out of them. There's, I don't know if you can see that right there, but it has a few apples on it. This is just the second year uh, that it's been in existence here on this property. 
and so I'm very pleased that it hasn't come down with blight or anything like that. We did have one apple tree over a year ago that got blight, and I mean it turned black like in a split second, and it was dead. Uh, so and that, that was a gala apple tree, too. It used to be right there. <laughs> and uh, it, it just, anyway. Okay, and there's the muscadine grapevine loaded, loaded, loaded with grapes. Uh, you can't really see them, but they're, they're so teeny tiny, but, but they've started. Okay, and here is what I was doing all day today. As I mentioned before in a previous video that I, the, those metal uh, uh, garden beds that uh, Lowe's and Home Depot and they all sell, they're like $139. Some of them are $150s. Some of them are actually almost $200 each. I don't, I just didn't have it. And I saw these at uh, Tractor Supply, 50 gallon tubs uh, made by Rubbermaid. They're supposed to last a lifetime, basically. And uh, they're 50 gallons, like I just said. So they're small, but, um, but we're just beginning. So these are our first ever garden beds. So I, so I took some T-posts and I had some extra wire here. And uh, because I've got peas and I've got squash and I've got cucumbers and I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to plant them all. And then later in the year, we hope to plant some uh, watermelon. Did I say watermelon? No, it, we have cantaloupe that we will be planting in the next couple of weeks. And then I, then I have watermelon seeds that I'm going to start to grow or plant. And uh, they'll probably be in one of these two bins here uh, for later in the season. And then here is our veggies that I put uh, seedlings. All of these I planted from seeds. And uh, these are uh, peppers and these are the cantaloupe. I don't have too many cantaloupe. Only three came up. There's one, two, three. I still have hope because I planted those seeds in all of those holes there, but they're not coming up. But all the peppers came up. That one, I think, is a squash. It was somehow, I guess I got a seed misplaced. Look at all the tomato plants. Holy Toledo. Uh, they just took off like crazy. And they are the, uh, uh, the Roma. Roma tomatoes. I love those type of tomatoes. And uh, these are cucumbers. Right in here, and over here is Ida's okra plants. Here are the peas, and these are the squash. Yellow crooked neck squash. Those are my favorite. Hey, champ, come on, let's move. Come on, I gotta walk. Okay, so uh, what do we got here? We have eggplant. They all came up, all, all 12 sections there. I did, uh, yeah. Okay, and uh, so here we go with Swiss chard, Swiss chard right there, and how come get your nose out? Lettuce, these are lettuces right there. Never, I've never tried, I've never grown any of this stuff from scratch. This is my first time. So I'm so, artichoke right here. I, I love artichoke, other people don't, but like I do not like uh, okra, but Ida loves okra. So we're just growing with what we love. And Jubilee tomatoes. All of those right there. All of those are Jubilee. We have way too many to plant. I'm not going to have enough space in those two garden beds and those two garden beds for, for all of that. So um, I'm going to check to see when the local farmer market, maybe they've started already or they're going to start. I might do a one-day thing there and see if I can see if anybody would be interested in spending a buck fifty or two dollars or whatever for an awesome healthy tomato plant. <laughs> you know what uh, Lowe's is selling them for uh, four dollars and seventy eight cents for one little thing like this. Four dollars and seventy eight cents. This is the last day of April the 30th 2022. And that's what I saw this afternoon at Lowe's. I had to buy four more T-posts in order to 
create like what you're seeing there with the wires going across so the vines can grow up on them for those two over there and anyway it's a done deal it's a small investment and this is a little bit more monies than what we thought we were ever going to be doing but uh, you need to start small but you but you also have to put a little bit into it in order to to do the beginning stages so that's what we're all about here on the homestead and this is three years old now and this is the third year and it finally exploded uh, the first year I barely had the grapevines go halfway up last year they started to really take off but because I was training them to go up on the trellis that I made here uh, they, they, I, I took all of their, their whatever to produce grapes away from them, and but they did, they did vine out, and uh, this year, on all those vines that finally reached way over here, uh, they're all producing massively. I, we have so many grapes. I don't, I have no idea how we're going to handle it, and I guess we'll deal with it when it happens, in a couple months from now. But uh, these are the. Uh, the blue Concord grapes right here that you're looking at. I have another muscadine grape plant, if you can see it, right right there behind the uh, raised garden bed. I only bought that last year, so I don't even know if it will produce or not, but I'm training it up. And then I want it to cover this entire side of the house here. And today I bought some, uh, let's see, some mint. And uh, there's a couple, there's a lemon mint and then a regular mint. And I planted those today, and then I got some rosemary, and I, I want to get a, a big container like that right there and put rosemary in there. And then uh, if we could ever figure out where we could maybe put it in ground, maybe at the front of the house, I might do that. But right now that's where they're at. For the While they're in the container, I'll take those containers out when we do the seed, seeding plantings. Okay, so there you have it. That is a, a uh, sort of brief uh, synopsis of what's going on here. And believe it or not, it took me all day to do this. And um, of course, of course, the dogs were here to help me, right? <laughs> so I'm anxious for my wife to get home and uh, hop in the shower, call it a day, and then tomorrow's Sunday. So God bless y'all. Thanks for uh, being a part of this and our family. And uh, would love it if you haven't subscribed. If you would please subscribe, we, we so much appreciate it. Um, trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Uh, so I'm tediously trying to do my very best to get to that point with y'all and to be a little bit more creative on these videos. But anyway, that's it for the moment. And take care and God bless until the next one. Bye bye.